Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to more of Mass Effect. This is Hill here with Sendarius Shepard aboard the Bridge of the Normandy. We've just completed our event, our adventures on Novaria. Matriarch Benezia Tassoni is dead. And we have killed the Rachni Queen. Now it's time to leave. And there were some other activities in between, like Administrator Analeus was arrested and some other things, but make sure you check out those episodes and previous episodes and see everything that went on in Novaria. But now it's time to leave. All right, galaxy map up. Here we are, Novaria. We're zooming out. Leaving the PAX system. Leaving the Horsehead Nebula. And now, it's time to do the DLC that uh, came with Mass Effect. Uh, I think it is called Bring Down the Sky. And it requires us to head to the Exodus Cluster. Let's go. Tantalus Drive Online. And we're headed to Asgard. I think we're gonna get a cutscene here, yes. As we leave Novaria. And hopefully we will not be coming back here. <laughs> And here we are in the Asgard system. Let's just go ahead and scan these planets first. First of all, we have the planet Bor. Alright, nothing there. Terra Nova. Nothing there. Tear. Nothing there. Ah, look at this. Hidden. Loki. And nothing there. Alright. I don't think we have any hidden carbonaceous asteroids or anything like that. Just scanning around for those. Okay, let's head towards asteroid X57. It's asking us to land. All right, well, let's see. What is this? X-57 is a metallic asteroid originally located at the trailing Lagrange point of the gas giant, Bohr. With the increased development on Terra Nova, a new orbital port facility was necessary. Due to a shortage of funding, it was decided to mine out X-57 using the recovered resources to finish out the interior for habitation. The asteroid was decelerated from Bohr's orbit using fusion torches, allowing it to fall into the orbit of Terra Nova. Recently, communications with the engineering team on X-57 have been lost. The fusion torches have reignited and the asteroid is accelerating toward Terra Nova. Okay. I don't think we need to know anything else. Let's land. And I thought about this. I think I'm going to treat this as an Alliance mission. To take with us Kate and Ashley. All right, let's go. Analysis. Torches must be disabled to 
Hello. I heard your transmission. Can you hear me? They haven't found me yet, but I can't talk long. Shut down the fusion torches. I'm going to die. God, I hope you're hearing this. All right. Asteroid fall successful. We're here on asteroid X-57. And as it so happens, there's a fusion torch right here in the distance. All right, let's get close. All right, we've already got problems. What is this? There's some sort of uh, rocket launchers spread all right over direction. the place. I don't know who you are, but I'm... Damn it. Go. All right, their proximity... That's one. That was a sloppy job. All right. All right, there's one up here on the hill. It's opening up. Uh-oh. All right, that's two. Another one. We've lost our shields. All right, then can we take this one out? Gotta remember to hide. Very careful because these things can shoot you from across the planet. Let's see if we can get to an area here where we can do repairs. Hopefully. Hopefully we're out of range. Alright, let's repair the Mako. Okay, it was a little risky, but we got them all. All right, let's go and see what is going on over here. I suppose you would call this a base. Look at that fusion torch, look at that, wow. That is amazing. Let's 
let's get a save in here. Everything so murky looking in here. Got those. We've got more Varen coming. All right, what have we got here, Caden? Let's throw them back. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. Got that one. Batarian Trooper. Let's use some sabotage on him. And... Ashley, you can have an adrenaline burst if that helps. Uh-oh, he's immune. So dark in here. Okay, we got him. Are we clear? Perimeter clear. All right. Good work, you two. Okay, let's see. This is nothing here. Nothing here, even though these are the usual containers. Grenade storage box. I don't know if we, uh... Picked up any or not, okay. Easy decryption here. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get in here. No, why did I do that? Ugh. Alright, let's just use the Omni Gel. Alright, we have a Karpov 10 pistol, a Razor 10 pistol, and Avengers. Avenger 10 pistol. Have I got a Avengers on the brain? Anyhow, we are gonna chill <laughs> these. Thank you. All right, let's see. I guess we need to head upstairs then. I'm not sure I like the lighting in this building. It's kind of is making my eyes water. Anything back here? Looks like nothing. Alright, so our goal should be here behind this door. Alright, here's average decryption. Let's see, come on, let's get this. Oh my goodness. I can see this isn't going to work out. <laughs> Alright. 
right, so we have a Karpov 9 pistol. Uh, oh, a Batarian Terminator X. Hmm. I wonder what that is. Let's, um, I'm going to Omni-Gel the pistol and the shotgun. And I'll take the assault rifle. Okay, looks like... It? Okay, let's uh, disable this torch control. Oh my goodness, I have to do a puzzle for this too? Alright. Got it! And the torch is offline. Was that you? Can you hear me? Who are you? What's going on? My name's Kate Bowman. I'm an engineer. I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. We were attacked yesterday by Batarian extremists. I've been hiding since they arrived. I think they know the torch went out. Why are they doing this? I don't know, but if this asteroid isn't slowed, millions of people on Terra Nova are going to die. If I find out anything, I'll... I've gotta go. Good luck. All right. So we have the old crash an asteroid into a planet scenario. Now this probably happens more often than you may think. <laughs> Let's certainly hope not. All right. Um, I don't think there's anything else in here. Could look up there, but we're just going to say that we've got everything. Hey. Oh, God. I didn't mean to... Are you hurt? You can't go firing your weapon at everything that moves. What the hell's wrong with you? Sorry. I thought you were one of them. Here's a tip. Two eyes, human. Four eyes, Batarian. Yeah, okay. I'll remember that. I know you're scared, but I'm here to help. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance. Simon. Simon Atwell. I'm the chief engineer on this rock. Listen, we don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. There are four million people down there, Shepard. I... My family. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Nice communities. Good schools. I don't have time to do the math in my head. What happens if we don't stop this rock? X-57 is 22 kilometers long, twice the size of the asteroid that wiped out the Earth's dinosaurs. It would be like millions of fusion bombs striking at once. Millions. Wow. The heat of the blast. A thousand kilometers away, clothes will ignite. There'll be global wildfires. Air shock will flatten everything for hundreds of kilometers. Terra Nova will die, Shepard. Not just our colony. The planet. There'll be a climate shift. Mass extinctions. The ecosystem won't recover for thousands of years. Millions, maybe. Is there any chance it'll land in the oceans? That would be even worse. Tsunamis would sweep inland at hundreds of kilometers per hour. Millions of tons of water would be vaporized at the point of impact. Global cloud coverage. The plants could all die, and if they go, the whole ecosystem rolls over. I'd have to run the numbers, but take my word for it. It'd be bad. I guess Batarians are as bad as they say. I've heard all the stories. Slave rings ranching people like animals. Pirate bands burning colonies to the ground. But this is... The Citadel Conventions forbid asteroid drops. I never thought the Batarians would go this far. That they even have a name for it, an asteroid drop. Okay. The Conventions only apply to Council-aligned races. The Batarian government is a rogue state. The Batarians aren't stupid. If they made a policy of this, the Council would declare war on them. My opinion? These guys aren't backed by their government. They've got to be working on their own. If the Batarians can't keep their own crazies in line, we'll do it for them. I just don't want the Terra Firma party using a threat to my home as an excuse to invade somebody else's. You were on the ground when this happened. How many Batarians have you seen? And where? They landed at the main facility. It's locked down now. They've changed the passcodes. No idea what's going on inside. I did see groups head out to each of the torch stations. Couldn't say how many, though. Enough to give you a fight. Any idea who's behind this? Who's leading them? That might provide a clue. I heard a couple of them talking. They mentioned a Balak, 
It sounded like he's the one in charge. They didn't seem convinced this was a good idea, but they were scared of the guy. Scared enough to do what he wanted. And just a bit of metagaming data. Depending on how this mission goes, this DLC goes, you may see Balak again in Mass Effect 3. Batarians everywhere and I need to shut down all three torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were set up to excavate when we arrived at Terra Nova. I rigged them with proximity detectors. That tank of yours will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. You should be fine. Should I requisition a cow to walk through ahead of... Look, you can <laughs> disable them. Just not remotely. I didn't have the equipment to set it up differently. There are manual controls by the entrance to the torch facility inside the blast zone. You can disarm the caps there. One last thing. I had a crew working off-site when the attack hit. I'm worried about them. These Batarians are ruthless. I saw them smash the faceplates of guys working vacuum. And those Varen. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. Any idea where I can find them? They were running checks on our perimeter equipment. Easiest thing would be to tap into the transmission tower out on the surface. The equipment stations will show up on your sensors. Four and a half million people are gonna die in a few hours. Don't make me trot out some tired platitude about the needs of many versus... But if you see them while... No. You're right. Focus on the torches. Sorry. There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That or being held hostage by the Batarians. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found her yet. Katie's alive. She's one of my best engineers. She signed on with her brother, Aaron, I, th I think his name is. He's part of the security detail. I hope they're okay. Give me a worst case scenario. We can't stop the asteroid. Could the colony be evacuated? Evac? Shepard, it took 30 years for the population to grow that large. I'm sure they're moving people to remote areas, but they'd never be able to get more than a few thousand. We just don't have enough ships. No one does. Well, maybe the Quarians, but I don't see them suddenly showing up and offering us a ride. Why were you moving this thing in the first place? Well, the idea was to drag it into Terra Nova's orbit, mine it out, and in the end you'd have a basic structure for an orbital station. It's a lot cheaper than getting everything up into orbit from the planet's surface. The minerals we extract almost cover the costs. What can you tell Smart as a whip and bold as they come. I hope she keeps hidden. If they find her... Oh, Katie. Don't do anything stupid. I apologize for the audio cutting out. I don't know if it's the... a memory issue with these textures that I've installed. But yeah, I am aware that this is occurring. And I do apologize. I will look into it. See if there's anything I can do to smooth it out. All right, I think we're done with the questions. Time's running short. I'm gonna go punch this mountain into... I think I'll make myself scarce in case any Batarians come back. Good luck, Shepard. All right. Two renegade points, but I guess that's better than none. Okay. Wow, this game is really starting to um, halt a lot and freeze up. And I don't know how this DLC has been optimized, I guess, for the, uh, the mods that I've installed. Okay, let's see. So we've got... A location over here and we've got a question mark let's go check out this question mark first Oh, 
doesn't seem to be anything here. Maybe it's at the very top. Oh, come on. Here we go. With these Mako issues and the terrain. Come on now. Is it really up this? What would be way up here on this peak? Oh my goodness, there is something here. Wow, look at this view. It's Terra Nova. Okay, so what what is this? An aid station, okay. Got two metagel and some logs. Let's see what they say. This computer is filled with operation logs and personal journals for a small pirate music station operated by X-57's engineers. It includes scripts for several promotional messages, none of which appear to have been recorded. Radio X-57 rocking the rock since 2182. Radio X-57, when your world seems hollow, we help you touch the sky. Radio X-57, talk hard. Radio X-57, your last best hope for rock within 300,000 kilometers. Okay. Oh, wait, there's something more. Radio controls. Wow. I don't think I've ever done this before. Alright, we'll leave them on. And it's that elevator music from uh, the Citadel. Okay. Um, did the, okay, I was going to say, did the Mako disappear? All right, well, folks, we are going to end the video here, and when we return, we will investigate another of the fusion torches. All right, this is Hill, and I'm out. <laughs> <laughs>